Welcome to Easy Ideas Channel. Coach yourself to home business success. Initially, there is a lot of energy and excitement when you start a home business. But it doesn't take long for the novelty to wear off. Unanticipated challenges pop up, you don't get the results you want fast enough, and you discover that some tasks just aren't fun. Many home businesses fail not because they're bad businesses, but because their owners were unable to push through frustrations, disappointments, and challenges to achieve success. This is where a coach is useful in helping you see what's not working, identify the activities you need to focus on, and motivate you to get busy. Unfortunately, many new home business owners can't afford to hire a coach. But if you have the desire to succeed, and can be brutally honest with yourself, you can be your own coach. Here are tips to coaching yourself to home business success. Know your end goal. No one, not even a hired coach, can help you reach your goals if you don't know what they are. What is it you want to achieve, not just in your home business, but with your home business as well? For example, Perhaps you want to earn a specific income from your business, but also, you want a business that is flexible or portable. Your goal might be to earn $5,000 per month while working from your RV. Knowing what you want is the first step towards success. Plot your way to your goal. How are you going to get from where you are now to where you want to go? Every journey has a start and a finish line, but how you get there needs to be plotted. What tasks do you need to do to get from here to there? What needs to happen along the way? This is where your business plan can be a big help. But also, you need to establish your schedule, routine and to-dos, so that each day you make progress toward your goal. Play Devil's Advocate Determining your goal and making a plan, are fairly straightforward tasks. The challenge in home business success usually comes because your activities aren't paying off the way you want. This is where a coach can be an asset because he has an objective view of your business. If you can't hire a coach, then you need to develop an objective view. In this case, you need to challenge your ideas and beliefs around what your decisions. You need to question what you're doing and why, especially if it isn't working. Every decision and task should be questioned about whether or not it's the best course of action. Consider if there are alternative actions you can take and weigh which are the best do. Face your fear. Fear plays a significant role in home business failure. As many motivational gurus say, success is outside or your comfort zone. Often, you may not recognize that it's fear that's holding you back. You may just think you're procrastinating or that the task is tedious. So you really need to search within yourself to figure out why you're avoiding what needs to be done. Track your results. You've set your goals and made a plan, but how do you know if you're moving toward success? Evaluating results of past actions to make future decisions is how. Did your Facebook ad increase your email subscriber list, make sales or whatever you wanted it to do? Where is most of the traffic from your website coming from and why? Tracking your marketing, website analytics, and other actions you take in your business will help you know what's working and what's not. Challenge yourself. You don't know how far you can go until you try, but also, you need to make sure you get rid of any self-imposed limitations on what you think you can or cannot do. The reality is that any limit to your success is usually set by you, not an external source. Do you think cartoonist Walt Disney anticipated the movies, parks and everything Disney that exists today? Did Steve Jobs start Apple in a garage thinking he'd change how we listen to music? History is littered with regular folk who turned a home business into an empire. You may not be able to see the entire big picture of your business now, but it's important that you strive for big and keep open to more. This is where coaches are helpful because they push you to reach higher and do more that you might think is possible. As your own coach, you need to set big goals and then recognize when you might be limiting yourself. For example, if you start making excuses about not doing something, it could be fear, 
as mentioned above, or a lack of belief that you're using to limit yourself. We really hope you find this article helpful and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. Thank you for watching.